Welcome to Theory After Hours, where we discuss business, interior design, real life struggles, and the daily balancing act to make it all happen. I'm like a person who's got everything in her head. And my husband's like, I wish I was in that head because then I would know half the things that need to get done. So I could help Help you. you. He's like, but I'm not you. So I don't know what needs to be done. And that's the thing is I don't verbalize it. I'm just like, whatever, I'll just do it myself. And and that's obviously not healthy because no. you know then you get very you know you get a little resentful because yes. you feel like the weight is all on you when really if you just communicated nicely yeah <laughs> nicely <laughs> that things needed to be done yeah. then you would get the support right yeah. but I think it's just as a working mom you kind of just have that in you where you're just like yep no I know the dish laundry needs to be changed over dishes need to be done you know I've got to re- reply to like six emails and you know and and it's just that thing where you know this one needs help with homework this one needs supplies for their project and it just you know like it's just the thing that doesn't necessarily have to all fall on me, but it does. It just kind of does. It does. Right? As a mom, it does. It just does. It does. And yeah. so, you know, like I said, I try, I try to decompress. I've been trying to be a lot more active, like yeah. trying to reincorporate some exercise into my life because I know That's like, huge. honestly, like I hate doing it. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I like, I have a love hate relationship with exercise me and I too. think everybody does. Yeah. Um, but I always feel a million percent you better when so, I do, right? So yeah. and it's just that moment of like leading up to like, do I go? You're like, yeah. can, like can I get down there? To you the- come up with every excuse. Oh, every excuse. oh yeah. Too cold yeah, but no, out. yeah, it's too cold it's too out. early. I'm really yeah. tired. By the time I get there, it's going to be late yeah. or yeah. whatever. So yeah, I'm really trying to, you know, fight that voice in my head. That's like, no, you don't need to. And be like, no, you should. And it's not yeah. for, not in the sense of like, you need it because you need to lose weight or you need to do this. It's more just like, this is what's good for you. Mm-hmm. You need that stress release and you're not getting it. Yes. And it's just going to keep getting built up. So that's kind of one of my, one of my many, like 30 mazillion goals for this year. I don't really have goals, but it's just kind of being intentional. Right. And just yes. being like, you know what? You haven't been active this week. Let's go for a walk or let's, you know, book that spin class or, you know, you know I have an elliptical downstairs. It's literally like I could probably dust a layer of dust off. <laughs> you know, like do things like yeah. that, yeah. right? And just be um it's like I know what to do. It's just do it. Do it. Right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's how I, I find say. if I schedule it, like I put my runners out beside my bed. I sch- like I actually put stuff beside me. It helps me. And I schedule it. I tell people I'm like I'm so I'm accountable for good for you. That's for a good doing idea. it. That's a I really good her, idea. I'm like I got you know, and you I'll send a picture. Her. Good yeah, for I send you. A picture I mean, I'll be like, come to the gym. She's like, no, I'm going to work out at home. So then I'm like, I just went home see. from the gym. Did you work out? And sometimes when I, the yep. time I get home, she sent me a picture. Yeah, oh, good and she'll for feel you. Guilty if she doesn't. Oh yeah, I do. She's like, because I'm like, and I don't. I do it because no, but you do care for. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I do feel You're better. not doing it in like a judgy, like, no, dare you not no, work no. out. It's more no. just like, hey, I know you wanted to be accountable, yeah. so I'm going to be, I'm going to yeah. be that girl. You're going right? to be, be accountable yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. No. And it's just sure. somebody who's always like, okay, I got your back. Like, yeah. exactly. I'm here to help you along with exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's Because so I have important. a friend like that, and she pushes me, and I, she's very pushy, but I love it. Well, yes, because right? then it, because it yeah. makes me get out of bed. Exactly. And I think that's the thing, too, is this when you, when you're a business owner, you, you, like, your sole focus becomes, this business yes. yeah. and you you sort of put yourself last in the you sense do. that you don't take care of yourself very yeah. well because yep. you're like I'm putting everything into this I'm giving everything to everybody else and then you're cut and I and I li- literally this is like a weekly conversation with my husband I'm like no I'm like I need time for myself and he's like you just have to make time and he's right it's you just with anything you just have to make time yeah. and say you know what from this time to this time like come hell or high water I am doing this schedule this it. only schedule yeah it. and that's schedule that's exactly yeah. what I'm gonna do from this point forward yeah I'm gonna screenshot to. my calendar okay, good. I'm gonna send it to us and we okay Action. Perfect. Yeah. Can yeah. you can, please yeah, like, yeah. have that we'll secondary have like yeah. piece of motivation? That totally. Awesome. Yeah. We're yeah. good at that. I would love that. Five AM text. <laughs> I'm usually not up that at that time, but <laughs> I can hold off till six. Six is good. Okay. Yeah, six is like good. Ooh, five. Well, because I'll probably have just gone to bed at two. Okay. So oh, yeah. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you off the hook. <laughs> you let me slide there a little. My God. I know. Oh, I know. I don't know if I could. I'm do trying, that. but see that that was another goal of mine for this year, and I really do mean goal. Like I do want to change this. Is shift the t- my t- like my working hours, so to speak. So it's like yeah. you know what, go to bed at nine thirty. Yes, and get up at five. Yeah, so that you can do the things that you were doing at two a.m. Yeah, but also, but you're refreshed. But you're refreshed. But also, you know, th- you know, throw on your gym clothes and head down to the elliptical or do yeah. like a whatever workout real quick for thirty minutes or whatever. Yeah. 
you know, and then get on with your day. Because I feel like once that happens, it just sets the tone for the entire day. It, it does. does. As opposed to being like, oh, that's I'm always on the back. That and that's well, always yeah. on the back and of then mind. Then the like, guilt yeah. comes in where you're yeah. just like, oh, shoot, I haven't exercised today. Or shoot, I didn't, you know, I said I was going to go do this and I didn't. And then it's the, the day just like blends into, it just becomes yeah. a blur. And you're yeah. just yeah. like, great. This is now it's like, okay, well, I guess I'll just wait for tomorrow. <laughs> or you go home and you're like, that glass of wine, I've already failed all day. I know, so exactly. So that's so wine. Ba- bowl of chips yeah. and a glass yeah. of wine and tomorrow is a new day but it's right? so funny the yeah. days that you work out you're like I am not having that I wine. know yeah. those chips. I know and then the, and the, the yeah I know like, bring it all in yeah bring it all I it's it so all. funny like it's really <laughs> hilarious but that's but that's the other thing about about taking care of yourself though is because when you do have those moments where you're doing like you feel good yeah. oh yeah you stay on that track where you you're like, totally you know what? do like I, I am worthy and I am like want to nourish myself and I want to take care of myself and then it just takes that one moment where you're like screw it screw it give screw me that glass of wine or bottle or you're right <laughs> yeah exactly and it's like but it's okay because if you if you mean you know if you if you stay on that track yes then yeah. those moments are you know really not a big deal no they're right? not but it's, it's just when it turns it's just exactly where it's like honey we're out of wine and he's like we just went to the wine store. <laughs> <laughs> my husband's like he'll take out a bottle and he's like wasn't this bottle just opened last night i'm like yeah i had a stressful day okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, you know, I was like really you got to monitor it like go away it's like i swear i'm not an alcoholic okay <laughs> just, yeah but is drinking alone a font allowed because that happens a lot yes I did dry, yes it is i did dry Thank january you. and i don't know why i was like well aren't you doing it with me and angel's like no no, no, you're doing that on your own just because you're Good doing for you. it. I was like, I'm like, isn't everybody doing it with me? I was like, no. How did you do? Oh, good. Good I didn't for drink. You. I drank. <laughs> Up top. Because I did too. But you know what? As soon as you stop drinking, you're like, oh, I feel much better in the morning. Yeah. And just that one glass of wine, if you haven't, and you know what my problem is? Too much coffee and then the glass of wine. You still have water, but you don't realize how sure. dehydrated yeah, you are. 100%. So when you cut that, and I cut, when I stopped drinking wine, I only went down to one coffee a day instead of three coffees a day. Isn't because I, because I you're not tired. Better. Yeah, you slept better. I slept better. Yeah. So I wasn't tired. I didn't eat all the coffee. Smart. But the minute I go back, it's like, a, I'm like, okay, four coffees a day. <laughs> so you can totally You can totally tell yeah. the difference, yeah. for sure. So it, it is very. For sure. Are you having uh, dry February? Drunk February? Well, drunk I, February. I have been drinking in February. I haven't gotten drunk yet. Maybe no. last night. I don't think you're uh, drunk. But I wasn't though. drunk. No. I just had a couple glasses We're, of wine. Did you guys go out last night? Yeah. yeah. For dinner. Where'd you guys go for dinner? Annalena's. I ate all the bread. I've never been there before. Oh, it's delicious. Oh yeah. So good. Second time I've been there, and I'm not supposed to eat bread, but I ate it. And I don't feel very good today. <laughs> last night. <laughs> but how are you feeling today? Not bad. I'm just a little tired, but last night I was not good. <laughs> Sorry was it just the two, like the three of you guys went out? No, or there was a bunch of us. Oh, we right on. went out with Nick. Oh, did you go? With- and Farouk and Tamara and Tracy. Oh, amazing! Yeah. So that it was, was fun. it was a nice dinner. It was fun, but the bread was like you have like you have to go there just for the like just everything for the is bread. Good, for the bread, the bread, is, the bread is, bread. is like there's but it's like fluffy it's like the inside of the bread uh-huh and it's just like rips and you're just like it's, it's like this terrible it's like, bread it's not like it's, it's not like, like they sear it bread. it's like barbecue like oh, they have those so it's like, like soft still oh like soft yes. but crispy it's like yeah it's kind of like a focaccia but not gotcha yeah. it's like th- is it thick it isn't but it's light and fluffy and it's like Ooh. you pull it it's not I pretty bread, looking it's so. just kind of like pull yeah 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 i don't know it's hard to describe it's kind of like cotton candy Okay, yeah. I'm That's gonna have to go. That's good That's analogy. Amazing. You rip it off, and you're just like. Mm-hmm. So it's like Italian cuisine, or no? Yeah. It's kind of everything. It's amazing. It's you and really your husband good. date night. Okay, this is you guys' yeah. Take date some, night. T- take time. Take yeah. Yes. Take Thank time you. for yeah. you. Yeah. Doctor's orders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Book a dinner there with you and your husband and eat the bread and it's going to be delicious. Have some good wine. It's, okay. Yeah, I highly recommend that it. That sounds amazing. Yeah. I but love it. But don't think it's in a house. I don't know why I thought it was in a house. We show up there last night and Angela's like, I don't know if we're at the right place. We were in a house last time. And I'm like, no, we weren't. I'm like, I she, swear to God, it was a house. she kept saying, it's a house. It was a house. And I'm like, okay, you. this is your second time here at Ben Alad. So then we like sit down, but we're in a little booth that's kind of closed off. And she's like, oh, this is why I thought we were in a house. Yeah, it just, I'm like, I got I'm like, know. oh, pumpkin. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> no attention to detail <laughs> for last night. I'm like, a house or a booth? Who knows? Yeah, about the same could, thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Were we pre-drinking before that? I was just going to yes, ask we, that. We, we like, were. Oh, okay, there we go. So <laughs> we had... We had breakfast at like nine. I love that you guys call it breakfast. No, breakfast. she does. 
<laughs> and I, we, I make fun of and her. And then we podcasted till three straight through. <laughs> And so by that time we hit Taco Fino like four and we're like, margaritas by the pitcher sounding really good. Oh my gosh. And we yes. hadn't eaten and so, you know, you have that and then you have a pitcher of sangria. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. You have Sounds to enjoy amazing. it. Sounds amazing. So it amazing. was good. Yeah. It was good. That's awesome. Yeah. But then we're tired. So Isabella, if you had some advice for somebody maybe starting out in their business or thinking of quitting their day job to become an entrepreneur, well, what would you say? What would I, what would I say? Um... Well, definitely first be smart about it and just know, like, I, there's never going to be a right time, I guess. But at the same time, don't just quit your job and be like, oh, great. Now, how am I going to make money? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. That doesn't really work. That doesn't that really does. work. No. But what I will say is that when I did decide to not work full time anymore or work for like the corporate world, it definitely lit a fire in me to be like, okay, well, like, you how's that to money going to get me? Right. So like it. I definitely, it gave me a lot of drive to be like, okay, I can do this. Like I have got this. And, and I don't think I would have otherwise had it if I had that safety net of a job, yeah. right? Which I still technically do. Like I can always go back. Oh, yeah. I can always go back. I can go back anytime. But, um, and I think you really just have to go for it. Like you have to just believe that this is whatever path that is, that that you're meant for it. And if it's something you're passionate about and something you're good at and you see um, the value in what you're offering people and it brings you joy, you just have to do it. And, um, you know, it's not never, it's never going to be pretty, at least at the very beginning, it's never going to be pretty. And there's always going to be, you know, these setbacks or shortcomings and failures. But the reality is, is those moments get you to that next step. They do. Right. You learn, lessons. You learn so oh, many yeah. lessons. And yeah. I like, there's like a, a meme or an analogy out there or whatever, where it's like, you know, there's all these goals you reach and you think you're at the top of the mountain. And all of a sudden there's like this, basically this next summit that you yeah. need to reach. And that's basically what business yeah. and life is really like. It is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you hit that moment where you're like, okay, you know, I'm building my community and you know, I'm, I'm building my business. Um, and there's, you just have to always have that that thought in your head that there's always something else that's going to be so much greater than where you're at at that moment. And the other piece of advice I would give is community is so important and that you really should reach out to your community, whatever that, like, whatever that capacity looks like for you, whether or not it's, you know, local businesses, um, you know, be prepared to, um, you know, make investments in your business in the sense of like, you know, sometimes you work for free. Sometimes you collaborate with people yeah. Yeah. for the sole purpose of getting your name out there. And you shouldn't shy away from those opportunities, even though it might feel like you're not getting the better end of the stick, if you will. But yeah. you know what? I think too, when you do that, when you're not always taking for yourself, yeah. you're not always putting it forward like, I need to get something in return. Exactly. That's when the good That's things when, happen. Yeah. I totally agree. I yeah. totally agree. And like, there's been lots of things for me that I've sponsored along the way where it's like, you know, somebody was having an event and I did a whole bunch of desserts for them. And that was really just an exchange for pro- like promotion, yes. right? Yeah. And um, and I did all those things because I was like, you know what? If, if there's going to be somebody that... If they need somebody to do it, I want that person to be me, yes. right? And so, you know, I, you know, sought out those opportunities because I wanted to be mm-hmm. that girl, right? And and I feel like it's really important. And then it's, in the same breath, it's also important to know what your limitations are for those things and right. to be like, okay, you know what? I I feel like I've, you know, planted some roots and now I want to see like the return of that investment, yes. right? Yes. And, 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 and make people see the value in the services that I do offer. Um, but community is so important because I feel like, you know, for me personally, um, it was really just sort of like the, the, the growth of social media that really got me growing too. Right. But in that same breath, it's the people I tried to connect with and end up, ended up connecting with that I feel like brought me where I, you know, brought me to this place today because of their, you know, willingness to take a chance on me and say, you know, hey, yes, I want you to, you know, do a cake for my photo shoot or I want you to, you know, sponsor this, you know, our dessert table for this, you know, event or whatever. And um, I feel like once you have, when you have that community, they'll always be there for you. And they'll always be there for you in the sense of, you know, business advice or for somebody to say, you know, if you say, Hey, you know, I'm hosting this event or, you know, can you help me promote this? It's always going to be that two way street. If you build that sense of community, but if you feel like you're, and I mean, being a business owner can be very lonely. So that's the way you combat that Yeah. Yeah. is you, you reach out to your, you know, fellow businesses and figure out how you can work together. Even if you're in completely different, um, 
spectrums of business. Spectrums, yeah. Yeah, totally. yeah. You know, you guys could be, you know, like I have collaborated with people who make, you know, signs or I have collaborated with people who, um, you know, own a nail salon business. Like there's so who many different. furniture? And yeah. who sell furniture? <laughs> Furniture you know? and cookies. They go furniture so well cookies. together. They go so well together. You know what? I, my, one of my things, <laughs> you don't know when it's coming, but you don't know how or when, but you are you guys are going to get a set of like furniture cookies. <gasps> and that's oh. all I'm going to say. Make sure you subscribe to Theory After Hours so you don't miss an episode. Love, the Theory Ladies. Mm-hmm.